know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a simp? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Keep talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready. I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. She is a sin. That's why she left home. Kasumi had honest questions about herself. She came here for answers. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs. Holes in someone's memory. Feelings of unexplained isolation. Odd dreams. But ultimately, 
You have to decide for yourself. What do you believe? Have you ever questioned your humanity? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you. being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you. Sure. Thank you. You've... I'm glad to hear it. Uh -huh. And I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's you. I should get going. Of course. Perhaps you were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. <laughs> 